Lundy's Lane and Montrose Road. It's a beautiful sunny Thursday morning. And we're just gonna head down here and explore the street. See what's around. Got my papers little information with me. There's a couple places I'm looking for. Gosh, it's so loud. So we're coming up to one now. Since we're in the honeymoon capital of the world, that's what Niagara Falls is known for. I figured we'd go and see this little wedding chapel here. And funny enough, it's called the Little Wedding Chapel. So just from what I looked up online, um, they have different packages here. Uh, so it says Monday to Thursday, it's a lot cheaper than if you would get married, let's say Friday to Sunday. So they have different packages, even like an express package where it's very reasonable doesn't cost too much, maybe around $300 to get married. And then you work your way up depending how elaborate you want your package to be. And it goes anywhere, like all the way up to like 2000 and something. But then you can get photos taken and even, I think photos, they'll arrange for photos down near the falls, which is really nice. So if you just wanna have a quick wedding, don't want anything too fancy, you know, just a small amount of people, then there's one option here. There's even a little motel attached to it here, which is kind of interesting. So that's the little wedding chapel on Lundy's Lane. And this is called the Rockwell Resort. You can see the ad here for the little wedding chapel. various places here across the street too. Different restaurants and Niagara Lodge and Suites, another motel here. So this way is in the opposite direction of the falls, but there's so many motels down this way and there's even campgrounds down this way too. So there's always different options when coming to visit. Just, you know, something to think about. Now, as we head down this way, there's a travel lodge right here, which looks really nice. Moon Suites with Whirlpool Bath. Jeez, the guy didn't even move. He scared me. Maple Haven Motel. Looks like they're fixing this place up. Renovating it. chapel up here. I'm going to try and find the number of it if I can. It says it's at 7973 Lundy's Lane. So we'll have to see where we're at. See if we can find it. Hopefully. And the next one we're looking for is called Elope Niagara. And it says it's Niagara's only little log chapel. Where are we at here? It doesn't say a number on this building. It's a Super 8 here. Looks like they're doing big renovation here. Just I 
noticed when I was just driving here trying to find somewhere to park that quite a few of the motels are getting a uh, facelift. Strata West, Eat and Sip House. That looks kind of nice there. Be a nice place to get a bite to eat and a drink. Falcon Inn, a friendly place to stay. Look, they have a vacancy. They even have a swimming pool. The swimming pool doesn't look like it's emptied out for the season now. What number is this building here? I don't think it says. Is it? 7865. Oh, okay, so we're still, still not there yet. You can even go bowling here if you come to visit. You like bowling? Cataract Bowl. Look at this cute little place. Their pool is all filled up. Go swimming. A1 Inn. So this is pretty much your typical budget inn. Which is good because if you don't want to spend a crazy amount of money when you're coming to Niagara Falls, right? Still go and enjoy the tourist area but be a little ways away from it and not pay a high price at like the hotels near the falls. Just good options to think about. Tells you what they offer. Newly renovated rooms too. Well, that's nice. Restaurant, breakfast, lunch, dinner, variety, gifts, souvenirs. I don't think they're open yet. Price of gas is getting pretty high lately. Actually, it's not too bad here. Dollar thirty-seven point nine in St. Catharines, where that's where I live. I think it's like a dollar forty two in places really expensive carriage house office there's a little re restaurant there oh look at this see oh there it is this is it that's the number, 7973. 7973. Oh. Niagara Falls Wedding Chapel on the lane, Niagara Fine Art Gallery. Oh. So there you go, you can get married here. And they have photographers. So that's what that looks like. It's right here. Just a little ways down from the other one we passed. And this one here, it says they have an express package for $2.95 and it goes up to the price of $2,995 depending what you want. But they even have a drive through <laughs> You can get married and have a drive through wedding. So there you go. Oh, I'm glad we found it. In the city of love. Oh, I see. It's like the high school students are out on a lunch break. Spa 
spa place here, Sense of Beauty. West Lane Secondary School. That must be where the kids are coming out from for their lunch. Another nail spa here. Oh, well, I'm glad I found that other wedding chapel. I thought it would be a little more decorated than it was, but I'm sure inside looks really nice. bonus when you're staying there so keeps the kids busy everybody has fun nice looks like a nice place to stay Maybe it used to be like a little old motel, but that's what it is now. Oh, they even have a Boston Pizza next to the Americana Resort. Boston Pizza is pretty good pizza. I think if you wanted to try it out, if you're visiting here, I think you would enjoy it. Moon Motel. Well, it looks like they have like a pool area out in the back there. So then again, if like I said before, if you're coming out this way on Lundy's Lane looking for places to stay, these are more like budget friendly places. Right by the falls, yes, very expensive. But I mean, if you want the view, you don't want to be far from the falls, and yes, you're gonna pay a lot more for it, but I mean, you're gonna have amazing views, very nice room to stay in. So something to think about. But if you're out a lot sightseeing and doing things, spending time exploring, things around the falls and and you're not going to be in your room very much then maybe that's a good idea right to stay somewhere a little further away caravan in low weekly rates 39 night and up that's very reasonable it's a fire station here Oh, and there's the O Canada A 
dinner theater right here. I know people that have gone to the show here and they really, really enjoyed it. Oh, okay. Doesn't look like it's there anymore. That's too bad. Maybe they are, I'm not really sure. It says massive content sale. So I don't know, maybe they closed it. one of the campgrounds I mentioned earlier. There's campgrounds down here. There's a KOA holiday campground. It's like you get a little golf cart to drive around in if you're staying here, possibly. Space Motel. One star in. See tiny little rooms they have here. Oh, there's Niagara Airbus. Need to go to the airport. That's where they're located. Probably pick you up right at your hotel or hotel wherever you're staying. Wendy's Motel, Tropicana Motel. to where we're going to finish off our walk here on Lundy's Lane for today, Foodie Palace. I wonder what that is. Coming up to Scott's Family RV Park Campground. And just so you know, when I was showing the wedding chapels that are on Lundy's Lane, there are many other places to get married around here not just here on Lindy's Lane. That's just showing you what there is here while I'm walking here. Still a lot of people staying at the campground. This is still nice enough weather for that. and trailers. I think they have little like cottagey type trailers, eh? That's nice. Yeah, so as I was saying, there are other places around to get married. You can even get married right by the falls if you wanted to. There's so many options, but it's something you'd have to look into if that's what you're thinking about. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today's walk. 
hope you enjoyed the walking tour showing you the different wedding chapels and motels, a few restaurants on Lundy's Lane. And thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now. One more thing I wanted to tell you guys before we go is I was just checking my channel yesterday to see how many videos I did because I really didn't keep track and I couldn't believe that I have made 67 videos already <laughs> since starting in May so I was like wow I didn't even realize it at all so that was kind of neat to see that so um so thanks guys for all your support and stay tuned for the next video bye for now